said in your book that your dad had the Bin Mars Don't Give Up, but was that internal that you just always had that or is that something that you learned and modeled? I, I think it was a combination. Uh, I, if I look back, I noticed that uh, when I was in elementary school, they had a they had a board in the cafeteria and it was the school record board. You know, the 50-yard dash, the 25-yard dash, the pull-ups, the, the pole climb. They had a big pole there that people climbed. And, you know, they had all the records out there. And my goal was to get on that board. And I, I, I had this insatiable desire to get on that board. And I finally got on for, I don't know what it was, pull-ups or something. And I was thrilled. And this is before, before I even became a gymnast. I, I had this desire to kind of make good at something and, and, and to reach you know, some sort of recognizable level. So I was a bit competitive, I think, uh, looking back at that. Um, and then I fell in love with gymnastics. And when I got involved in gymnastics, I, um, I, I kind of was able to channel that desire, that passion into a sport that I really had fallen in love with. And, uh, and, I, and, I, and I had a great coach who was an Olympian who'd been there, done that. And I, and I kind of had everything fall into place for me. But I think deep down inside when I was young, I, I had this desire to excel. Now, I, I had examples around me, too. I had a father who had, had, had uh, suffered through polio and uh, has been somewhat handicapped ever since and um, always had a positive attitude and, and, and just never gave up and never had to tell us children um, that we don't quit. He just lived it. He never, he, he never just looked at us and said, don't quit. You know, this is the family model. We don't quit. No, he just lived that. He 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 was able to support his family and have a career and and deal with these physical setbacks that, that came about frequently. And um, and yet uh, we saw that example. And I had to go home every day to that guy. Um, and and so I couldn't complain in the gym about these brutal workouts that my coach would give me when I had to go home to him because he never complained about anything. And so his quiet example, I think, helped me to become an Olympic champion. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization MP3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the mental toughness trainer.